picture this. You know that friend of yours, the one who's constantly complaining about being broke, yet they're always flaunting new tattoos? Doesn't it seem a bit odd? It's as if they're living in some parallel universe where third eviction notices are mere suggestion. Let's delve into this bizarre world where financial logic seems to be turned on its head. Here are 15 things people who claim to be broke always seem to have money for. First off, tattoos. We've all seen it. The financially challenged friend with more ink than a big factory. It all began with a small tribal design or a Japanese word, despite their closest connection to a tribe or Japan being sushi takeout. Now they're sporting a full sleeve of dragons because, well, dragons are cool. But what started as a symbol of rebellion in their 20s becomes a regret in their 30s, especially now that everyone's got them. Next, cigarettes and booze. If there's one thing that can magically make money appear from thin air, it's the mighty cigarette. Even if a pack cost $60, our broke friend would still somehow manage to puff away. And don't get us started on alcohol. How is it that they're barely making ends meet, yet there's always a six-pack chilling in their fridge? And then there's the world of beauty. Acrylic nails, hair extensions, and fake lashes seem to be non-negotiables. They might lack a proper education or real skills, but heaven forbid they miss their nail appointment. They seem to believe that looking like the Kardashians will result in Kardashian wealth. Spoiler alert, it won't. Let's not forget about lottery tickets and sports betting. You've probably heard your friends brag about how they're just waiting for their big win. Yet, despite playing for years, they're always just above break even. And then there's the big one, payment plans for large TVs or new phones. Just because they can make the down payment doesn't mean they can afford the item. Yet, they'd rather go without food and be seen with an outdated phone model. Next up, pets they can't afford to properly care for. The kind-hearted old lady with 20 cats. The skinny dude with the uncontrollable pit bull. They love their animals so much, they won't let anyone take them away, even when it's for the best. In this strange parallel universe, financial logic is twisted and distorted. But perhaps by shining a light on these behaviors, we can help our broke friends find a way back to financial reality. It's time to stop dreaming and start doing. After all, the only way to truly escape financial hardship is through smart choices and hard work. Imagine this. You're cruising down the highway in your 1998 Honda Civic, the deafening roar of your exhaust drowning out the world. You've got flames painted on the side and a spoiler that makes it look like you're about to take off. But... Let's be real. No amount of duct-taped Christmas lights under your car is going to make it fly. Now, we're not saying modifying cars isn't cool. It can be a thrilling hobby, a passion project even. But why not channel that energy into something that could change your financial future instead of just making your ride glow in the dark? Next up, brand accessories. You know what we're talking about. That pair of shades with the Versus logo plastered on the side. Or those towels, slippers, even gates adorned with the Medusa head. Nowadays, it seems like everyone's grandma is rocking a Moncler puffer. But most of these so-called designer items are probably knockoffs bought from the trunk of a shady dealer's car. And then there's the holiday splurge. You want to impress that special someone, so you borrow your buddy's fancy car for the first date. The night goes well. And now, you need to step up your game. So you take out a payday loan, max out your credit cards and whisk her away to Miami, Greece or even Dubai. All the while you're hurtling towards personal financial ruin just to keep up appearances. Fast forward a few months. You're back home washing dishes to pay off that exorbitant restaurant tab, but your social media tells a different story. There you are. Still living it up in the Maldives, even though the only water you're seeing these days is in the kitchen sink. But perhaps the biggest money pit for the financially challenged are scammers and fortune tellers. They're always ready to invest their last dime in pyramid schemes, lured by the promise of instant wealth. They'd rather buy into these fantasies than do the one thing that could actually change their situation, hard work. If you're broke, 
Here's the truth. Building wealth comes down to knowledge and action. Either you don't know how to stop being broke, in which case, educate yourself. Watch informative videos, read books, find a mentor. Or you know what to do, but you're not doing it. In that case, it's time to stop procrastinating and start acting. Being broke might be your reality now, but doesn't have to be your future. Remember, staying broke is a choice, not a life sentence. So choose wisely. Choose to build wealth and live a better life. Picture this. You're getting ready for a night out. The playlist is pumping. Your outfit is on point and you reach for that bottle of Peko Rabanne One Million to complete the vibe. It's a classic scene, right? But here's the thing, you're broke. Yet somehow you've got a collection of high-end perfumes that would make a Sephora store blush. And don't even get us started on the branded toiletry sets you've been hoarding just for the sake of the chick gift bag. We've seen you ladies using them as clutches at parties. Then there's the wish or AliExpress addiction. You tell yourself you're being thrifty, but let's face it, no one needs a helmet for their chickens. All those random buys are just gathering dust in a drawer somewhere. But perhaps the biggest culprit of all? The irresistible allure of the new. New Jordans. New iPhone. New anything. You convince yourself you need these things, but truth is you're just falling for clever marketing. Remember, you already have a phone, shoes, clothes. You have everything you need. So keep your money close, because most people blame others for their lack of funds, only to give it away willingly when a shiny new product drops. Here's another hard pill to swallow. Eating out or ordering in isn't saving you money. Every time you do it, you're feeding the restaurant, the delivery driver, the delivery app, and not to mention your bank and credit card company. They're all profiting from your poor financial decisions. Cooking at home is only expensive if you insist on having different fresh meals every day. Your refusal to eat leftovers? That's why you're broke. Now, for the random stuff fireworks and trampolines, anyone? Broke people seem to have a knack for stumbling upon the weirdest deals. You might not get paid in cash, but hey, now you own a horse. Sure, you could probably sell it. But until then, that horse is munching away at your wallet. There's a certain randomness to financial decisions when you're broke, mixed with a dash of gambling. That's why broke people often spend their last dime on abandoned storage units, hoping to strike it rich. Recognize any of these habits? Maybe it's time to do something about it. Now, for those who've stuck around, here's a bonus, a secret question that could boost your earnings. Ready? Here it is. What else can I do here for you to earn more money? This question shows you're willing to work and you want to be rewarded for the additional value you create. Use this tactic when job hunting too. Tell potential employers what you earn. Add an extra 10-15%, then ask them how you can earn more in their company. They'll literally lay out the game plan for you. The truth is people stay broke because they choose to. But people also get rich because one day they decide to stop being broke. If you're ready to make that promise to yourself, let us know in the comments. Write the word never if you're committed to never being broke again. Let's see how many of you are still with us. And that's a wrap, folks. We've journeyed through the curious world of financial decisions and explored some habits that might be keeping you broke. Remember, change starts with awareness. Now that you're aware, it's time to make better decisions. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that likes button. Share your own experiences in the comments below and let us know what you think broke people always have money for. We love hearing from you. To stay updated on more practical tips, inspiring stories and insightful information like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. That way, you'll never miss out on any of our future videos. Together, let's embark on the journey to financial freedom. Remember, staying broke is a choice. Choose wisely, choose wealth. Subscribe now and join us on this exciting journey.